Um, this hand's a bit awkward since we don't have our green source. Got three green spells, though. We do have Paralyze, but... No real big threats, which makes this hand less exciting. Let's mulligan, I think, try and do a little bit better. I mean, we have a one drop, we have a paralyze, but no green source, no fatty. I don't like it. Let's see if we can do better. Alright, this is already better. At least we can start beating in with a root walla. So we drop the imp. And I'm pretty sure you can just madness anything whenever you want. But we're going to find out the hard way, I guess. So I'm going to end of turn, try and cast a Ruwal off madness. Pretty sure that works. Hmm. All right, got our free guy. Interesting. Um, I guess we bash in. All right, good. It's an excellent paralyzed target now. So we get to Paralyze plus Pump Root while and continue the beatdown. Nice. Tusker's not that bad either. Theoretically we could discard it and reanimate it, but I think we're more on the Paralyze now. Then we bash in... And the nice thing about Paralyze is they can only play or uh, pay it during their upkeep, which is nice. So they can't ever get like a surprise block on you, you know what I mean? They have to do it during their upkeep, so they really only get like one true opportunity to do it. Alright, that guy's pretty good. So we can cycle Tusker. I almost wanted to do that and get the swamp, but then we can reanimate. We'll lose seven, but we'll get a big a big dude. And then we can start provoking stuff maybe. Alright, I'm I'm interested. Let's let's do it. Let's cycle. Get our card. Black source, I guess. Jungle Worm. That's a good follow-up next turn. Alright, so we're going to lose a lot, lot of life here, but at the same time we're also getting a 6-5. So, I'm down. Alright, 
Not too shabby. Um, I think we just play Jungle Worm and then pass. Alright, um, I think what we do is provoke, oh, it's got Shroud. I was going to provoke the Gigapede, but yeah, it's not going to, that's not going to work. I guess I can provoke the Tusker on the... Varine and just eat that dude. And then he'd have to block with the chief. Let's provoke it. Draw our card. Attack with Tusker. Alright. I think I'm okay with this. It's not great, but get some of the board clutter down. We still have Animate Dead. And we're lowering the board clutter for Jungle Worm to get a little bit better. Can't really play Urnum Gen. Since I'd have to give his chief... Um the land walk, which I don't like. Alright, so he's ready to pay on Root Walla. Alright. In chill out mode for a little bit. Okay.
All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, unfortunately, we're playing the guy round one that we are absolutely competing with for green cards, so it's becoming readily apparent why our deck was not quite as good. I don't even think he should have swung, to be honest. He could have just sat back and reaped the benefits of Ernum Jin. So we still have fatties we could potentially find, but not so much yet. Yeah, all right. I think that that land draw actually is the end of the game. If he'd attacked with everything, still would have been forced to block the Gigapede, I think. Uh, no, we lost, so no need to show another Paralyze. Okay, so... Mulligans definitely are going to hurt our strategy more than other people's because we're uh, counting on ramp to get us to, to fatties. So we really need as many cards as possible um, or we're going to have a lot of problems. This theoretically actually would have been pretty decent. I guess he had a few creatures in his graveyard. It was kind of a grindy game. I feel like we need just as many dudes as possible, sadly. This could get rid of Elephant Guide, I guess, but... Maybe we do the Urborg Uprising for the get our late game, <clears throat> get our guys back mid to late so we can replay them. And uh, we'll cut or reanimate. So we don't have to punish our life as much. All right. Play first. Yeah, this is fine. It's actually kind of good. We've even got the Tusker to find our swamp. So if he plays a 2-drop, I can presumably still swing in with Root Walla. 
or not. Um, good for you, dude. Well done. Well done. Got a bunch of money. All right. Um, maybe you want to cycle the Tusker at the end of his turn, and then into Urnum Gen. And he got a Taiga too, huh? Pretty nice, dude. Pretty nice. So, theoretically, I could do the Grunts. Then I'd have to pay the Echo. I kind of want to get the Urnum Gen online. So, we're going to cycle. Get a second Swamp. Draw a card. Untap. Drop a gin. And pass. Hmm. All the paralyzes. All right. So I'm just going to drop the Simeon Grunts on his turn. Then I can pay the Echo and still paralyze. Could set up for a surprise Simeon Grunts, but... I guess the perk of that is, uh, I'm just going to get them out there. All right, so we pay our echo. Draw aberration, not too shabby. All right, so let's paralyze the chief actually, so that way you can't triple block the grunts. Get in for seven. And we'll pass. Next turn we can do Aberration or we can do um, Paralyze, Sudden Strength. We've got some options here. Eesh. And he gets to revalue his Chief, huh? Well, I guess at least we have another Paralyze. pretty guess we know what we're doing oh uh, well, that worked out Didn't pay it. That's interesting. Hmm. 
Not exactly sure why he didn't pay it. All right. Cycle this. Ooh, Death's Head Buzzard. It's not that bad of a game plan. Um, so I attack with both. He can triple block, kill Chief and a Goblin. Yeah, I'd rather him triple block, to be honest. Because then the Death's Head Buzzard follow-up is actually good. For lethal, if he doesn't block the Urnum Gen. Alright, let's see if he triple blocks here. All right. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Aberrations of Fatty, Death's Head Buzzard is evasive. I'm going to get the flyer out. Okay, so he's paying it. Getting his 7-7 seven, seven online. Alright, it's pretty big. I see the issue. I'm going to have to give one land walk of some kind here, huh? Should have actually given the Shivan Worm, because if he attacks with it, it's paralyzed again, but can't quite do that right. Well, we have a chump blocker now, I guess, for his worm if he wants to attack with that. Let's get in with the buzzard. Let's do Aberration plus... Findorn Elves. So, yeah, I should have given the Siobhan Worm the land walk there. But next turn, I mean, technically we can swing for lethal. He's got to have a pretty good play here. He's got three blockers, all of which he's leaving back. Give that guy Forest Walk. Alright, I think we're just going to play this the old safe way. No reason to throw a bunch of dudes away needlessly. Alright, so I'll chump block that guy, and uh, take the rest. This has Trample? Wow. I did not play that correctly. Alright. So this guy has Trample. I did not block that correctly. At all. Could have died there. If he'd had a Berserk, we would have 100% been dead. So, poor play there. Um, 
our opponent is just close to 100 ticks more than we are. <laughs> and his deck is, I assume, better, because he's got actual removal spells and fatties as well. So, not feeling terribly good about this match. Could Tangle, I guess. Maybe Tangle's the ace in the hole that I need to somehow win this. He doesn't have any flyers. Fledgling Jin could be okay, too. But I think our game plan, I guess, is okay. Game plan's not terrible. Maybe we just try it again. I mean, I don't mind the tangle, but I don't think so. All right, it's definitely a good hand. If we can go deep on this guy's embrace, I'm looking good. Really, it's like we got to make a root walla just huge. Root walla, root walla. Can also ramp with nature's lore on turn two for turn three guys embrace. That's not a bad setup. All right, it's problematic. Get our bayou, I guess. Next turn, cycle Tusker, perhaps. Three cards left in our opponent's hand. That's not good. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be difficult to beat. Let's see if we can get one of our three. Uh, even if we get it paralyzed off the top, we can just pay it. Yeah, it's pretty bad for us. That's pretty bad. Well, at least we did get the paralyzed, but still. Still in a kind of rough spot here. I mean, next turn I can do the Jungle Worm, but I'm still debating if I want to cycle the Tusker. I feel like it's not a bad idea. At least our opponent's only got a couple cards left, I guess, but... Let's cycle the Tusker here. Let's see if we can't find animate dead or reanimate or I guess we don't have reanimate but Urborg uprising something like that all right let's get the worm out there maybe if I can give him trample I'll feel good the guys embrace maybe bringing this game back I think I actually take the Pillaging Horde. Well, blocking the root wall. Alright, that I can tolerate. Second one. Not bad. Unfortunately, doubling up paralyzed does not work. But I can paralyze the root walla. He's out of cards in hand too, which is nice.
If a guy is embrace swing, he just takes eight, and then he pays four, and he can untap horde. I can play imp or elves and chump block it though. Actually, both. Yeah, let's do that. At this point, we're on the race plan. He's going to get us in flame blast range, I guess. So I could do imp to block the horde and then paralyze the root walla. And he can't swing with it. I'm going to paralyze it. Whether or not it's right, I don't know. I just don't want to risk going into fire blast range. Oh, sorry. My triggers. I'm like, are you going to trigger that? Doesn't have trample, does it? Okay. Ooh. So I can provoke the horde, yeah. I think that's the right play. It does let him untap Rue well instead, but I think that's that's just what we're doing. So wait, he can oh, so I can provoke that's insane, because I have regen, yeah. So we're gonna provoke the root walla too. We both have to block. And I can regen. Oh no! That's right. <laughs> the jungle worm gets smaller. I screwed up. Okay. I forgot. Um, I mean, we still have regen, so it's actually not that big of a deal, but that's not exactly what I wanted. Yeah. So... Didn't quite do that right, but I mean, I guess theoretically we still did draw off of Provoke, but that was not exactly what I wanted to do. Not exactly what I wanted. All right, so I'm definitely blocking here, too. We're just not going to let him fire blast us out. All right, didn't pay to untap. All right, well, good news. We got the match with our mediocre deck. Bad news. Not really bad news, but disappointing news. This guy stole a bunch of good cards in green we could have used, and he got a Mox Jet, and he got a Taiga. So, he, even though he just lost this match, he beat us. He definitely beat us in the long run. Holy shit, did he beat us. Uh, Alright, I'll see you in round two.